And there we see the Queensland side. Lockyer, Hegarty, Singh, Tate, Hodges, Eichen and Berrigan. They're the Broncos halves. Carroll, Tallis captain. Carlaw, Webke, Marsh and Sivan Asiva. Minicello at fullback. Tahu, Devere on the wings. Gidley, Lyon. Timmins, Johns, Rickardson, Fitzgibbon, Kennedy, the back row. Kearns, Padiris, Riles. And Andrew Johns, the 13th New South Wales captain, is about to lead them out. This will be the fourth time that Andrew has captain New South Wales. His record here at Suncorp is quite incredible. He's only lost one of seven matches that he's played State of Origin at Suncorp Stadium. I wonder will the good fortune continue for Andrew Johns tonight. And so here's the big fella, Gordon Tallis. So there's the kickoff. The 22nd series of State of Origin is underway. The Blues from left to right. And what a chase on the kickoff. Webke is hammered. New South Wales. Some of the old landmarks of this ground, of course, are, are long gone. They're relics of the past as Lyon gets the ball away for De Vere. De Vere is striding out. The Bronco down the field. A 30 metre run. Make it 40 metres. Lockie has got him. That is a great fullback tackle. That is one of the best tacklers you'll ever see, ladies and gentlemen. Because Michael Levere had plenty of room to move. Their Broncos teammates, they know each other's games very well. Locker just timed his run perfectly. And then look at the strength. Once he gets to him, just picks him up, bangs him out over the touchline. Doesn't get any better. 35 metres out from the line. There's the tackle count on your bottom left of screen. 67 made by the Blues. Here's Minicello. And he's not coming out of there. And there you can see the ball just sitting down. Not much roll on it. The Queensland supporters, they're ecstatic. A bit of blood on the face of Anthony Minicello. It's been a baptism of fire for he and Michael De Vere. I think the blood's actually come off De Vere onto uh, Minicello, but Minicello didn't have the confidence here to go right. He didn't have the confidence to scoot around the outside of Tony Carroll. He decided to go left. Well, there's the, the stapler at work. Yeah, that, that's got to hurt. That has got to hurt. Well, I know it does. He broke the stapler. Marsh for Sivan Asiva. And Badiris throws himself at him. Timmons goes in to complete the tackle on Sivan Asiva. Marsh gets it away to the right for Eichen to go on to Lockyer. Lockyer's got the pedal down. He will score. Lockyer scores the first try of State of Origin 1. At Suncorp Stadium, Queensland. Take first blood. 4-0, a try to Darren Lockyer after this. Uh, look, I'd probably say it every game, but this is the best origin 15 minutes to start a game I've seen. Tough, physical, quick, and Darren Lockyer getting on the outside. Jamie Lyon staying with his man, and Minicello coming across was never going to stop him. Lockyer, first receiver, out wide. Just yeah. so much pace. How good is he? And it's all the defence that the Blues have had to do. They've had to make 79 tackles to convert his own try at the moment looking okay flags are in the air Queensland extend they are 6-0 over New South Wales now Badiris off to the blind side links up with uh, Gidley Gidley was hammered by the defence 11 metres out from the line tackler was Carl Orr. then Johns dummies once and then goes out wide Minicello is in Minicello has weathered the storm at the other end and has scored the first points for New South Wales. They hit back fairly quickly, the Blues. It's important to do so. And Anthony Minichello, that'll settle him down. A lot of space there. New South Wales running a fair way before they got to the defensive line. And it was a fairly sparse defensive line. Ended up being a one-on-one -on -one miss from Ben Eichen on Minichello. Yeah, Andrew Johns. The decoy back on the inside by Josh Perry was the thing. It set up the defence. Uh, it just held them up. What? Some of these players aren't handling the turf too well. To score at the other end, that's the Milton Street uh, end of the ground. Try is converted. It is level at six all. New South Wales and Queensland. Appropriate uh, time to bring him into the game. As Badiras finds Fitzgibbon going up the right side. And he plays it back for Badiras. Here's Johns menacingly. Minicello's got number two. Minicello has gone in to score. 
They'll but check they are this. going to the video. Yeah, they'll check this for a possible shepherd. Brent Tate, a good little play out wide on down the short side through Johns, but let's have a look now. Gidley goes through. Now, I, I, to be honest, I think that's okay. Brent Tate virtually fell for that decoy. He went to Gidley himself. That opened the hole up for Minichella to run to. I think that's fine. Eddie Ward is the video referee tonight. And he's found a try for New South Wales. I'm not going to answer. Here's the attempt at conversion. Johns has got it. <laughs> Taken the coat of paint off the upright, but he got it. Dearest again. Now Marsh. Marsh up the middle. He's away. Over the halfway line. Crying out for support. Lockyer arrives a tad too late. 40 metre line. New South Wales into the ground. Berrigan is with the ball. Aiken links up with him. Ball goes to ground. De Vere's got the ball. Oh, what a tackle. Jamie Lyon, I think, was the man on a running Ben Aiken. End-to-end -end stuff here. Players are out on their feet. Another interchange, Marsh is off. Massive tackle that, Pete, because they, they were that. gone for numbers. This is Bowman, a dummy half. And they're five metres from the halfway line. A six-point ball game in favour of the visitors. Who won only one from six matches on Queensland soil, one from the last six matches on well, Queensland soil. Paul Bowman's just got on the field as uh, to replace PJ Marsh in the hooking role, and now he's calling for attention. He can hardly run out there. Paul Bowman leaving the field now, and as Paul pointed out, just about his first touch. He was Hodges. Eichen puts on a sprint, tries to bust through. He does that. Andrew G. He, well, I don't know. He's <laughs> lost it. It's he been has lost. lost it. He hasn't gone to the video ref. He was there on the spot, Bill Harrigan. Andrew G tries to bang it down the ball goes loose and at half time there's Bowman getting attention and it doesn't look like he'll be back in the game two kicks from New South Wales have found Darren Lockyer on the ball Hegarty up the middle Hegarty Hegarty with a great run tackle 20 meters away Harrigan says play on Hegarty's away again 10 meters out fifth tackle tell us sees a gap goes for it they get underneath him. They can't stop him. No, he's gone to the video. Yeah, but Talis is up. He reckons he has scored a try. Bill Harrigan, he was down on hands and knees. Strength by Gordon Talis, the captain leading by example. He's confident he's got the ball down. Has he? That'll do, mate. Yep. I think there's some part of the football down there. That's his fourth in the Queensland jersey. And it's one that might wrap this ball game up. Bill Harrigan, Paul Vorton made the point. He was down on hands and knees trying to get a worm's eye view of it. And I've got a feeling it's going back to him. It is. He's awarded the try. And this, this to level from Lockyer. Looking good, toiling a little bit. Flags are up. Hodges. Held just inside his 20 metre line tackle two. There's a problem here. Rickardson is pointing at Hodges. I, I fancy that the young Queenslander is injured an ankle or a knee. He's clutching at his left knee or left leg. And Justin Hodges there, the right knee buckling. Justin Hodges looks like he's bundied off for the night. Just after the elation of the Talis try, now they lose one of their gun players. We've got Jason Miles on the far side in agony on the sideline. They, Ronnie Palmer is signalling to the bench. It's Des Haslam, I'm sorry. So, there's, there's Jason Riles over on the far side of the ground. As Johns unloads, Minicello chimes in. Timmons is with the ball. They've got 10 metres to go with Kennedy. Kennedy's pass picked up by Jamie Lyon. He throws the ball. And it came off a Queenslander who I'm sure didn't play at the ball. Yeah, chance there for the Blues, but once again, some magnificent scrambling defence there by the Maroons. Last tackle. Berrigan. Berrigan sees an opening. Tries to go through. Oh, tell us. Tell us. He's put the ball down. This will be interesting. Well, if it hits a New South Wales player after Gordon Tallis tries to catch it, it is a knock-on. 
first in. Did he tip it on again before it touched the Blues player? It goes there. Yes, it hits the New South Wales head. The, the player in the, close to the line, I think you'll find. Let's have a look at this. No try and play the ball. Justin Hodge is almost inconsolable down here on the sideline. In fact, his dad has come down to the sideline to join him. He has ligament damage, definitely knocked back tonight, and it could be a long-term injury. I've seen plenty of that before. Come on, you're coming to the ground with me. Rickardson, big performance by here. Here's the Blues again with Padiris putting his mark on the game. Tackle by Lockyer. Johns gets it on. Timmons is with the ball. Timmons is tackled. Try saver from Eichen. Carroll over the top, and then Lyon. Then Johns. Johns puts a kick in, and Lockyer's working hard. New South Wales, they appeal. Bill Harrigan is going to the video. Yeah, Luke Bailey claiming a try. No emotion there from coach Bill Gould. I don't know whether he's that confident, Luke. Yeah, it's very close, but no cigar. And it's no try, 20 metre restart. On that little cameo down there, they look like traffic cops. Tamana, get out of there. Here's Johns making a break for New South Wales. Johns to the 40 metre line. He kicks ahead. It's Jamie Lyon and Matt Singh. Singh's there first. And Jamie Lyon makes the tackle. Oh, too good, Matt Singh. Too good, Matt Singh. Great break there by Andrew Johns. Yeah, I do think that he should have looked... Well, he had Craig wing. wing back on the inside. Yeah, he was flying wing. Look at him come. He does this every game. He's just too good. Thursday night, don't forget. It'll be an origin in review. Knocked down by Price. He restarts the tackle count. And New South Wales with Timmons now. Back to Luke Bailey. He is uh, pursued by Carlaw. That ball wasn't touched. It's picked up by Johns. Johns gets it away. Timmons is with the ball again. Down to the 30 metre yeah. line. He'll be playing the ball 25 out from the line. Played back to Badiris. Badiris away to Johns. Johns selectively to Craig Wing. Wing is under the post. Craig Wing has scored. Craig Wing has scored. Johns has opened them up. Timmons was supreme. It was lovely football by the Blues. And they were given six again by an attempted intercept from Stephen Price and then some very tired defence in the next couple of rucks. There's the ball going to, down, deliberately played at. And there you can see the Queensland defence still trying to get back on side. Up the middle of the ruck is always the telltale sign. Or well, holes there, but the selective pass and the great footwork from Craig Wing. You knew he was going to have an impact in this game. It was just a matter of where he was going to be. Quite magnificent. He's only been beaten in seven appearances on one occasion. He converts the try. New South Wales back six in front again now. Fitzgibbon is injured. Queensland, desperate in defence. Great stuff. Johns kicks across the ground. Tahu bats it down and is taken there by Flannery for Queensland. That is just absolutely fantastic Queensland defence. And now Carlos strides away. He's done it before. Can he do it again? Look at this steamrolling run from Carlos. The ball goes loose. It's dived on by the Blues. And Harrigan says, play on. The point here, just to break the spirit a bit more, as Badiris goes to the right side, finds Phil Bailey. Nearly gets through, but Tallis wraps him up. Ten out. This is the last tackle. What does Johns do? So Johns is with it. Sets himself up for it. Gets it away. Bill Harrigan puts the arm in the air. It's a point for New South Wales, but it's a seven-point buffer. Badiris, Badiris to Johns, he'll score. The captain is in. Andrew Johns scores. New South Wales, they race out to a 23-12 lead now. Yeah, that's it. I was amazed at how long Queensland were able to defend that. They were out on their feet. They are out on their feet. Just combination there. The Newcastle boys have put one on and very tight Queensland defence. So there it is. A further two points of the New South Wales total. Yeah, just one last injury for the night for Queensland. Chris Flannery, a shoulder problem. I'll tell you what, in that ch attempted charge down by PJ... Tahu's Mark, away, you know, Andrew. We'll come back to you. Tahu, he fends again. He gets inside the 20. He's still going. And eventually Tahu is pulled down. Johns is a dummy half. It comes away to Craig Wing. Wing fires the ball out. It's gone to Queensland to lock you. The ball on the bounce for Craig Wing. What a tremendous origin match he's had. And the siren in the background, Bill Harrigan signifies full time. And New South Wales, the Wizard Blues, under coach Phil Gould and captain Andrew Johns, have beaten Queensland by 25 points to 12.